and welcome back to TFS Plays Vampire. I'm Count Orlani, which is the name of the Nosferatu vampire. Ah. Which is Orlock, actually. But I'm Simon Belgrant. That's better than what I did. <laughs> oh, God! Ah! What the fuck? What just happened? They just, like, appeared. <laughs> Not what I wanted! Not as intended! Oh, come on. That grazed you. Oh, shit. I thought I had more blood than I did. Okay. I did not. So, hypothetical vampires are real world. Okay. We, we discover vampires exist, but there are vampires like the good doctor here where other than when, you know, we goof on it, he's actually in control of himself and doesn't need to just feed on people. Right. But, like, he does have, like, a, a physical need for blood. How, how do you as a moral human being deal with this? Like, is it, okay, well, we've got people who've donated blood. Some of that just yeah. goes to vampires now. At like, that and point. We, and we let them exist and, like, live. Or is it just, no, this is a problem. This is only going to spread and get worse. I'm sure there would definitely be people like that. I'm sure there would be a string of murders. Mm -hmm. uh, I, like, in modern day, you know, 2018 society, yeah. believe that there would be, like, an Uber app where it's just like, <laughs> hey, like, you know, like DoorDash, where it's like, hey, we'll deliver you we, a bag go, of blood. Yeah, here's, here's a blood bag. Don't worry about it. These are our, you know, explicit donators. They, you know, they've been screened. They've been tested. And you can buy your quality. Okay. So now, now flash forward a bit goth scene 2050 is like Ooh. become a vampire like do it to yourself because that's that's the true goth lifestyle <laughs> so not only are they like you know big old goth titties but they're big old vampire they're goth vampires. titties Ooh. morbidity can breathe its own beauty and grace oh this guy seems like a character desertion. good evening sir i'm dr reed I would like to ask you a few Look, questions. This, is this what's, with that what's with this Willem Dafoe motherfucker? <laughs> regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which the eyes cannot it's see. It's like they model the heads first, and then artists? the people that are modeling the heads don't talk to the people who are modeling the bodies <laughs> at all. And like at the end of the game, she's like, "Okay, you got all the head animations? Yeah, we got them all down. Like all the lip flaps are there. Okay, pop them on the bodies." And they're like, "Oh shit! Oh, it's a little too late to fix this." May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius ah, Darius, that old yes, man that helps Dorothy First, run her clinic. A small publisher. It's everything I know. I invited him to publish my work, we call him Darius. The was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight Actually, in no, we probably have a more complex nickname. Like, Those we call him the Milkman. You know, we started calling him Dairy for short skills. for Darius. That just eventually evolved. Uh, you know what? I'm getting too personal. Yes, I know him. Anyway. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane, a nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The Crane of Whitechapel. Sounds very mysterious. But yeah, if you're sorry, looking for no, titles. Well, thanks for everything. Do I know anything about you? I certainly do. Did you know the mute is a member of a secret Just the society. fucking intensity of that. Thank you for this information, sir. For it only enriches the mystery surrounding the precious Camellia. Ah, Camellia. You know. I fear you are a hopeless romantic, Mr. Miller. Guilty as charged, Dr. Reed. Pleasure to make your acquaintance there, mm -hmm. sir. Are you not curious? Just having Is a good old time. You wish to know? That girl has not an ounce of malice in her. Whatever she may be hiding, it's certain to be for the benefit of most, if not all. So I'm curious, of all like the vampire movies you've seen, Tell like you, you know, the plethora of them. Yeah. yeah. What is your what is your favorite like fictional world with favorite vampires in it? Like the like fictional world with vampires the society in that in either has or has not, you know, adapted to vampires yet. Do you not think it's trying to a little think? Because it's, on the it's, it's been a long ass time since I've watched something with vampires in it as like, like my dear muse. And they weren't just like Wonderful also in this fantasy world there are vampires. Right. Like, not much. Uh, that's the beauty of it. 
You know, I love the vampire lore of JoJo's, like genuinely. Really? Like, I like the stone mask, and then the reveal that the Pillar Men basically fed on vampires, that they were, <laughs> that they were the food source is actually a great twist. That's on great. That. Just like, no, we wanted humans that would just live forever and be real strong and feed us better, so we made them vampires. <laughs> reality can be so dull, don't you think? It's just so hard to keep a slave that lives for so long. truth about your muse. One day, perhaps. I'll ask her to come with me, but ah, uh, will she still be my wild flower? Also, I think there was, it's been a long ass time, time, but there was some bad anime movie, I think, or maybe it was like an OVA thing, but where vampires were from space. In what way? Ooh. And, it, and that was like, I mean, the, it was the a pretty bad movie, but the lore behind it was okay. Dracula was basically like a thousand year old space alien antagonism and trying to build an army of vampires to fight a space war. Wow, you saying that, like, it takes me back to, I think it was like third grade when I had like a bit of a creative writing streak in me. And I began the story of what I would uh, later call and I was not very good at coming up with titles. I'm still really bad at it. Don't worry about it. We but this uh, its particular epic was known as Vampire Space Mall. Yes, good. <laughs> and it was about like a group of kids, including a self-insert character, that went to a mall that just so happened to be run by alien vampires. Yes. And it got shot into space. <laughs> and I think I had just seen like Day of the or Dawn of the Dead. Because I was like, okay, so it's all about these kids trying to survive in the mall and and avoiding the and, vampires. And avoiding vampires. Yeah. And I don't think I ever came up with a, like an ending to it. I just came up with a concept <laughs> and wrote out like a couple of chapters about how they got into space. That's terrific. I like it a lot. Uh, stupid kid story. Did you have anything like that, like stupid little creative oh kid gosh. tales, I like when you were? I made my my own uh, Mega Man X. Ooh. In that no, it was like not mission. just Mega Man, but Mega Man X specifically, be because the doctor who built this android was dead. Ooh. <laughs> and just only pre-recorded messages about upgrades were the only way he could talk to him. <laughs> so uh, it was just Mega Man X. Yes. <laughs> The only difference was it was like it was like Mega Man X and DBZ. Oh uh, I was man. Like Twelve or thirteen when I was doing this. Of course. Uh, and it was just, yeah, there's this this robot who, uh, you know, of course, naturally greatest fighting machine of all time and yeah. super pure of heart. And But because he of went our, up against the evil Dr. Darius, uh, more or less, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, pretty much it was the one doctor had been like, no, we want robots to automate everything. And naturally he was bad. Mm. And the other robot was just like, no, I want to see artificial intelligence. Can I make something that can empathize with Tell humans and that's where good good mega man fake came from and it was just the well okay this ai went crazy and now the entire world is just machines and there's only one last bit of humanity and it's in this robot so it's exactly mega man Amelia, I know you but then all the fights were dragon ball right because it was a martial arts robot of somehow. course i think this girl's a mute a stubborn and Nurse Crane and Darius Petrescu. Wow, I'm being real rude to her. Fucking mute. All right, let's let's just I know control you her. Understand what I'm saying. Your silence has nothing to do with. You don't understand. It's part of the Nin contract. I can't talk, or I'll lose my power. All right, you. Oh, I can't. Wow, she is a stone trap. That's impressive. Can we level up like our level of people that we can possess, or is that just uh, we have to? be a higher level in general. I, th I think it's like, it's got to be a level thing, although it still says we're level one in that regard. No clue. Very well. Unclear. Right. Well, we learned everything we can from her. Maybe that's something we can improve on like one of the level of things that we just haven't looked at. Maybe. No, like just stupid little stories you come up with when you're a kid. They're they're the best when you look oh, back yeah. at them. I as was an real adult. mad because in high school uh, there was a story that I was that I was kind of proud of, but then Avatar was basically it. It came oh, out no. like a year after I started writing it, and I was furious. <laughs> so I was like, I haven't showed this to anyone. Everyone's gonna think I was just copying Avatar. So I was like, all right, we got these people who have the power to manipulate ice. These guys have the power to manipulate fire, and they don't like each other, and no Ooh. one knows why. They just have always <laughs> had these fights. But then it turns out, like, there's a kid who's born, and he can do both. And he's going to be the one who can bring them together. You again. Because it turns Go out everyone away. used to be able to do that. But these two demons started a fight. Oh, yeah. See, look at that. I have a, I have an option here for Mesmerize Level 2, two. but I don't okay. have it. 
So we just have to level up our mesmerism. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? Man to pyre. All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. I you am a vampire hunter. How do people know? <laughs> you know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see, Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. He talks like he has the same accent as fucking Edna from uh, The Incredibles. Don't make me regret this. <laughs> no capes for vampires. No capes. I will rob you fucking blind though. <laughs> yeah, I am gonna take everything. Locked. We're a vampire. Who, who locks us safe? Does someone have to invite us into his fucking safe for us to be able to open it? What's the combination to you your safe, to puny mortal? Yeah, you must go across the courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally introduced. May I ask your name and occupation, sir? I am Darius Petrescu. I'm here to keep snitches and spies away from Dorothea. That's your job. That's and your whole job. Run this little ah, okay. Shop. I've learned everything about you. I know you fought for your country when it was occupied, Darius. Tell me more about How it. many I Englishmen have you killed? <laughs> and I know I won't see my homeland again, but I fought for Romania all my life, and I will until Also, I'm bald under this hat. Romania Don't tell anyone. Romania the grasp of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It's a free country again. But it's not the country I fought for. My homeland is not a beast, Doctor. And I still see a dark future ahead for my people. Yeah, there'll be a South Park episode about them. Family left, Mr. Petrescu? Children or grandchildren? Who knows? I have a band. I am but a wandering ghost. Might as well be of a fallen but land. I am for them, I suppose. My people are all that is left. A shambling corpse. This war won't last forever. Did you ever think of returning to your country now? I feel like our Dr. No. Reed has like a really inflated sense of like self-importance with this yeah. whole Dr. Vampire title. Cause Seems like it. When he talks to people, he is like, excuse me, do you know who I am? Do you understand my opinion is so much better than yours? I know everything. Don't be embarrassed, sir. Must know my own father disappeared many years ago, and I forgave him. It's quite awkward to talk about our families like this, but <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Dr. Reed. I appreciate your trust. It's okay. I almost have you. Like I almost have everything I need to know about you. you. Meet Nurse Crane, Darius. Why does she trust you? I, I am her father. In England, Dorothea and I share many ideas about this country. About the country and the many beds. You mm -hmm. Romania, don't you? Even if not directly, I fought against your enemies. Really? Then perhaps you have more in common with Dorothea than I keep glancing at Dorothea and seeing diarrhea. <laughs> you have more in common with diarrhea than you might expect, Doctor. Do you have any family left, wow. Mr. Petrescu? Children or grandchildren? Who knows? I don't know about my family. And my people for so long, they might as well be dead. They're dead to me. Dead <coughs> I am for them, I suppose. All right, that's all I have for Goodbye, you. Mr. Petrescu. Eventually, I'll be able to mesmerize you, and then you'll be food. All we had to do was talk to enough people, and this guy would let us into his house. Yeah, didn't even need to vampire mind trick him. Dorothy in the dispensary, Ooh. yo! Okay. When did so they legalize? Back to our hypothetical vampires are real universe. Okay. So we find out that they do have the power to basically do, like, mind control shit. Ooh, shit. Now do we let this just go? <laughs> oh, man. At that point, I feel like there'd be, like, a huge study going on. Like, figuring out, okay, like, what what is this? How is this working? And, like, at, at that point, they probably already control like, society. Like, it, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, 
obviously it is wrong to just be like, well, we have to execute vampires. Like that's obviously not the correct answer. Like any sort of like internment or like punishment for just being a vampire can't work. But when it's like, but no, they have the power to literally sway anyone to do anything. It's like, how do we, uh, how do you regulate this? I think at that point, you kind of have to go with the fact it's like, look, either everybody's a vampire or nobody's a vampire. <laughs> okay, we just have to gonna have a big old vote. And then, like, you got to wonder, like, okay, is there, like, is the food supply literally just, like, you know, human blood? And can we replicate it? Because I think we're at the point where, like, there is synthetic human blood yeah. out there. I think. I don't know. Uh, I, it sounds like a thing that exists. Then who's working the day shift? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, like, at that point, are we like going Mr. Burns full block out yeah. the sun mode? Yeah. Or? We, so, like, uh, Proposition Twelve passes or whatever, and all of a sudden, like, all U.S. Everybody's citizens must to... also be vampires. Yeah. So now everything is closed <laughs> from Pace dawn to dusk. Vasily, high fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Well, kill him. Aspirin is all for the fever and discomfort. Well, I have some cocaine. That cures everything I've had, Ellie. Aspirin and salicin, you say? Why not some warm milk and a kiss on the cheek? Where are the queen? Stupid <laughs> woman! <laughs> what do you think this is? Santa Claus? He's not convulsing. He's choking. He's not getting any air. Oh, that might be the rocks I shoved down his throat. What can I do, Doctor? Nothing. Do we have any anesthetic? Nah, fuck it. Tracheotomy. We're going right in. I need to perform a tracheostomy. It so sounds like you already did it. Rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, doctor. Just give me a pen. He's yeah, I once saw. Uh, yeah. First episode of Lost. Yeah, I was gonna say I once saw a dude do it with a pen, like in a fucking like mall. Oh wow, really? Yeah. That's, that's kind of scary. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Don't question me, woman! <laughs> Don't question me, nurse. I need a drain. Now. Yes, doctor. I was gonna say, this dude's choking to death. Like, would you rather infection or instant death? <laughs> Just pull it off. Boy, that's a lot. He's still bleeding, doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. This is your fault somehow. I'm gonna have to turn him immortal! I... I can't see. I've become blood blind! Doctor, uh -oh. what big teeth Someone you have. Someone else is gonna know. Let me finish alone. You can't see this. I'm gonna try to do it. I must be a good doctor. First suture the artery. Find the wound, the source of the blood. The delicious, delicious blood. Okay, yeah. So just in his position, he is just like got his hands in, in, in your favorite food right now. Yeah, He's just covered in it and smelling it. He's dying, doctor. Cardiac massage, epinephrine. That would just fuck him up more. Hell yeah, it would. Cardiac massage now. Cardiac, what? Are you making this up as you go along? <laughs> Wrong choice. I guess. Did I kill him? Yeah, I killed him. If only you'd give him that fucking cardiac massage! What do they teach you in Dorothy school? <laughs> the school for Dorothy's. All right. Well, we can't have any witnesses. If she's going around spreading that we're not actually We've a good lost doctor. The pulse. He's gone, Doctor. Oh, well, must better not let a good meal go to waste. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse? See, now she's calling next? everything you've ever done into question. We can't this have this person, severe. this dissenting I've never voice. Seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions, something primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes. Lots of people turning into wolves and going into the sewer, too. 
I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. Also a doggy bag. I'll take this patient to go, ma'am. Hey. Now as for you, ah, um, nom nom. Here to test my bedside manners. I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. There's a lot of questions and answers. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied. Ooh, she rhymed. To do? Mm. I'm all these people have. Is she the straight poet? But why Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. <gasps> I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. Kinky. Hold on, you're gonna milk her? Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. Why? They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. That doesn't answer the question. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? Mm -hmm. I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty. Nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. Don't get me started on hunger. <laughs> You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So stealing from hospitals, BT Dubs. Are you going to turn me over <laughs> nah, to we the don't authorities? Mm. Yeah. Nurse Crane, there is no question that the work you've done here is extraordinary. But this dispensary is incapable of coping with the outbreak. It's only a question of days before the situation at hand will overwhelm us. Uh -oh. I cannot allow it. It's my He's duty reaching to for a weapon. This immediately. Drink. <laughs> We're well on our way to a bad end. No, oh, yeah. What was right? For in the end, I saved lives, and you took. We had so much in common, Doctor. Don't you see that? We were both vampires. Rises uh, up. Hey, we got a new mesmerization uh, level. Okay. That's so how you do it. You just drink we people. We, we, we make the bad guy calls and we get better at mesmerizing. Well, we failed quite a few hints with her. But look at all that XP. Nice. Holy shit. We'll be able to power up our blood bombs in no time. Yeah, we're going to be a fucking nuke. I cannot enter. Didn't I just get? Didn't I she just get a key? She locked it on our way in. I, I thought I literally just picked up a key. Maybe it wasn't to that door. Oh well, we'll find our way out of this hellhole next time on TFS Plays Vampire.